Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use a controller on PSU Clementine. So the first thing is, uh, you want to open up the PSU Clementine launcher and click Options. In here, you want to click Gamepad Settings. And now, if you're using an Xbox 360 controller, or perhaps something similar, you want to go ahead and click Default Pattern 2 and it'll change all your buttons to be similar to how the Xbox 360 version was. And if you want to verify that these buttons are correct or what you want, let's go ahead and double click the key and push the button on your controller. Mine changed because I'm using a PS4 controller and I'll get into that shortly. So once you're done uh, filling out the buttons you want, go ahead and click enter. I'm gonna click cancel because I don't want this, but you would click enter and then you would click enter here. I'm gonna click cancel again, and then you would be good to go. However, the downside to only doing this method with the Xbox 360 controller, and also Xbox One, I believe, is that the two triggers that you have count as axis instead of buttons, so you won't be able to map them. However, you can get a third-party program like X-Input, x, -input, x uh joy to key or steam and you can map them that way but if you don't want to do that the triggers aren't really that big of a deal you can just push the f1 or f11 f12 keys to open up the chat which is what your lt would be and you can push the z key on your keyboard which is what your rt would be all right now if you're using a ps4 controller there is native support and I'll show you how to set that up, but I'm just going to say this, that I don't really trust it. I've had issues in the past with it, and I use DS4 Windows. I'll show you how to set up DS4 Windows in a bit if you would rather use that. So if you're using PS4, go ahead and click Options and Gamepad Settings again. And from here, uh, you have to manually push all of the keys. So Enter, Talk, Search, and Pick Up Items would be X, Cancel, would be circle, normal attack would be square, striking weapon skill and technique would be triangle, lock on camera next page would be uh, L1, switch weapon next page would be R1, page left would be uh, L2, page right chat log would be R2, first person camera on and off would be R3, or right stick. Main menu display on and off and skip movie is start. Change character display info is L3. And then you would leave the arrow keys as they are. Camera left and right would be your right analog stick, left and right. Camera up and down would be your right analog stick, up and down. Once you have all of those mapped, go ahead and click enter. Again, I'm gonna click cancel. And then you would click enter here and I'm going to click cancel and you should be good to go. You can click play and everything would work fine. All right. Now, if you would rather use DS4 windows, I will provide a link in the description to their website. So you want to, once you're here, you want to click download now and it'll bring you to this page. Go ahead and click DS4 windows zip here and it'll download it from here. You want to go ahead and open it. And then you can close that web page. Right click somewhere on your desktop background and make a new folder. Doesn't matter what you name it, I'll just leave it as is. And you would drag and drop your contents into there. And it would look like this. I'm going to use the folder I already have set up, but I'll show you what you need to do. When you first open up DS4 Windows, you might see something like this. If that's the case, you want to go ahead and click install the DS4 driver. This will allow your DS4 controller to work with basically anything on uh, your computer. Once that's done installing, if you're on Windows 7 or below, you would click this. If you're not, then you can ignore it and go ahead and click finish. After doing that, I recommend restarting your PC. Once you restart your PC, you should see something like this. If you don't, and instead you see something more like this, 
Then here's a quick fix for it. Go down to your start menu and type in device and go to device manager. Once in here, go to human interface devices and find something like HID compliant game controller. And there might be a few in there, even though you have one controller plugged in, but that's fine. Go ahead and right click it. And if it says enable device here, go ahead and click that. But if not, go ahead and disable it and click yes. And then right click it and re-enable it. And then do that for all of the game controller ones you see. As you can see, my controller just made a noise, which means I found the right one. Once you enable it, it should appear in the DS4 windows. Keeping your profile default is okay. I will go into more detail later as to what you can do with that, but for right now, that's all you want. Like before, you will now click Options, Gamepad Settings, and you will go through and you will enter all of these as how they should be. The first one being X, then Circle, Square, Triangle, L1, R1, R2, L2, R3, Start, and L3. Then you will scroll down and change camera left and right to your right analog stick left and right, and camera up and down to your right analog stick up and down. Then you will click Enter, and then Enter again, and you'll be good to go. That concludes the basic controller setup. If you don't really care about going super hardcore with the game, then you don't need to watch the rest of the video. You're good to go as is. If you do, however, want to see a bit more advanced controls you can do that might help you out in the long run, then you can continue watching. So from here, you want to go ahead and go over to profile and click new. And up here for profile name, you want to enter something in to let you know that this is your PSU profile. So maybe Fantasy Star or PSU. I'm going to click cancel because I already have one, but you would click save. Once you do that, if you want, you can change your color to whatever you want. And I prefer changing my touchpad over to use for controls. And you'll also need to do that if you want to set your controller up as I'm about to show you. Once you do that, you want to go over and click special actions. Here you will click new action, but I'm going to click edit action to show you what you need to do. So new action, and then you would name it weapon palette one, change this to press slash toggle key and this to F7. And then you would check mark R2 and left touch, then save. And from here, you would make a new one called weapon palette two press toggle key and F8, and you would do R2 and right touch and save. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. You can pause the video if you need. So from here, weapon palette 3, F9, R2, cross. And then you would name it weapon palette 4, square, R2, and your action would be F10. Weapon palette 5, triangle, R2, F11, weapon palette 6, circle on R2, F12. Again, just to be sure you understand, the name here would be weapon palette 6, drop down boxes, press toggle key, the action is F12, and you would check mark R2 and circle, then save. By doing this, you are making it to where when you push those buttons, the trigger here, which would be R2 and left touch. So if you hold down R2 and you push the left, uh, push down on the left side of the touchpad, that would trigger the action, which would be the key F7. And I will get into a bit more detail a bit later in game as to why this is helpful. The next bit here is for armor. So you would make a new action, name it armor one or armor uh, like fire or ice, and I'll get into detail why you would name it that, but let's just do armor one for now. You would do press toggle key F1, and you would do R1 and left touch and save. Armor two, 
R1, right touch, F2, armor 3, cross, R1, F3, armor 4, square, R1, F4, armor 5, triangle, R1, F5, armor 6, circle, R1, F6. And again, don't forget to make sure this is press slash toggle key. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and click Save Profile here. You need to open up the Clementine Launcher, go into Options here, Gamepad Settings, and down where it says Page Left and Page Right Chat Log here, I have these reversed, and I recommend that you do the same if you're using this control setup. Otherwise, every time you go to do the button combo, it'll open up your chat log, and that's just kind of annoying. So Page Left, you would have as R2, which would be button 8, and page right, you would have as L2, which would be button 7. You can just hit, click enter, and then enter again. All right, once you have this control scheme set up, go ahead and minimize DS4, and you want to launch the game. Once in game, you want to go ahead and hit start, go over to system, and then options. Scroll down to function key setting and change it to chat shortcut. Once you do that, you can go ahead and back out of that, go over to community, shortcuts, and from here you want to change your shortcuts to what I have here. This one would be slash sl fire, like this. So f1 would be slash sl fire, slash sl ice for f2. F3 is slash SL Lightning, F4 is slash SL Ground, F5 is slash SL Light, F6 is slash SL Dark, F7 is slash WP1, F8 is slash WP2, F9 is slash WP3, and then slash WP4, slash WP5, and slash WP6. Once you have this set up, you can go ahead and start a mission and you can see what exactly this does. Once in mission, you want to go ahead and push the R2 and accept the mission log thingy, otherwise this won't work. But after doing that, if you push down R2 and push like left touch, right touch, X, square, triangle, and circle, you can see that you quickly swap to other things, and you can also just jump to complete the other side of the palette. So you can jump from light all the way down to, like, ice, and it's much faster. Also, in a brief situation that might end up saving your character's life, if you hold down R1 and you push some of the buttons we have mapped, you can see that it quickly swaps to other elements of armor. That concludes the tutorial for setting up your controller, both basic and advanced. I will have a link down to Midori Hoshi's guide on the advanced guide if you want to read more about it. That's also where I got the idea for the PS4 controller from. If you have any more questions or want to find people to play with, I will put a link down for the Clementine Discord as well. Thanks for watching.